The Nakajima Ki-43, known as the Hayabusa, meaning Peregrine Falcon in Japanese, was a prominent fighter aircraft utilized by the Imperial Japanese Army Air Service, IJAAS, during World War II. Developed and manufactured by the Nakajima Aircraft Company, the Ki-43 played a significant role in the early years of the Pacific War. The Ki-43 project originated in the late 1930s when the IJAAS sought to modernize its fighter aircraft fleet. The chief designer, Hideo Itokawa, aimed to create a lightweight and highly maneuverable aircraft that could rival its contemporaries. The result was an all-metal monoplane featuring a streamlined fuselage and elliptical wings, characteristic of the era's cutting-edge designs. Entering service in early 1941, the Ki-43 swiftly earned a formidable reputation as a fighter aircraft. It possessed exceptional maneuverability and a high rate of climb, making it a challenging adversary for enemy planes. The aircraft's lightweight construction and optimized design facilitated remarkable agility, enabling skilled pilots to execute sharp turns, loops, and dives with ease. The Ki-43's aerodynamic features, such as the elliptical wings, minimized drag and allowed for increased maneuverability. The Ki-43's power came from a Nakajima HA-25 radial engine, which provided sufficient thrust for its size. While its top speed was relatively modest compared to some of its contemporaries, the Ki-43 excelled in terms of acceleration and climbing ability. This made it particularly adept at hit-and-run tactics, allowing pilots to quickly engage and disengage enemy aircraft, leveraging the element of surprise and its superior maneuverability. Armament on the Ki-43 consisted of two synchronized 12.7mm Type 1 machine guns mounted above the engine. These machine guns were situated close to the pilot's line of sight, allowing for accurate aiming during dogfights. The Ki-43's armament was initially limited compared to other contemporary fighters, but it was offset by the aircraft's exceptional maneuverability, allowing pilots to get into advantageous firing positions. Additionally, the Ki-43 could carry external ordnance such as bombs or rockets, although its primary role was as a fighter rather than a ground attack aircraft. The versatility of the Ki-43 allowed it to engage a variety of targets, ranging from enemy aircraft to ground installations. One of the notable strengths of the Ki-43 was its exceptional range, which enabled it to conduct long-distance missions and patrol vast areas of the Pacific theater. Its fuel-efficient engine and lightweight airframe allowed for extended flight times, giving Japanese pilots an advantage in terms of reconnaissance and battle flexibility. This range was particularly advantageous in the vast expanse of the Pacific, where aircraft had to cover significant distances to engage the enemy. During the early stages of the Pacific War, the Ki-43 achieved notable success, particularly in Southeast Asia and the Southwest Pacific. It engaged in numerous aerial battles against Allied forces, including those from Britain, the United States, the Netherlands, and Australia. The Ki-43's performance against Allied aircraft such as the Curtis P-40 Warhawk and the Brewster Buffalo was generally favorable due to its superior maneuverability and the skill of Japanese pilots. However, as the war progressed, the limitations of the Ki-43 became more apparent. Its light armament and lack of protective armor left it vulnerable to attacks from heavily armed and armored opponents. The absence of self-sealing fuel tanks also made the Ki-43 highly susceptible to fires and explosions when hit by enemy fire. Despite these weaknesses, the Ki-43 remained in production throughout the war, with various improvements incorporated into later models. These upgrades aimed to address the shortcomings of the earlier versions. The most notable upgrade was the introduction of 20mm cannons, providing increased firepower against enemy aircraft. Furthermore, efforts were made to reinforce the airframes and enhance the pilot's protection. In addition to its role as a fighter, the Ki-43 was adapted for other purposes. It served as a reconnaissance aircraft equipped with cameras to gather vital intelligence on enemy positions and movements. The Ki-43's range and maneuverability made it suitable for reconnaissance missions, allowing it to quickly fly over enemy territory, capture images, and return with valuable information. The Ki-43 was also occasionally utilized in the ground attack role, carrying bombs or strafing targets with its machine guns. However, due to its primary design as a fighter aircraft, 
it was not as effective in the ground attack role as purpose-built aircraft like the Kawasaki Ki-48 or the Mitsubishi Ki-51. By the latter stages of the war, the Ki-43 faced mounting challenges against advancing Allied air superiority. Improved Allied aircraft designs, superior pilot training, and overwhelming enemy forces overwhelmed the Japanese fighter. Production of the Ki-43 ceased in 1945, with approximately 5,900 units manufactured in total. The Nakajima Ki-43 Hayabusa holds a significant place in the history of Japanese military aviation. Its agility and performance during the early years of the Pacific War earned the respect of both friends and foes. The Ki-43 showcased the ingenuity and engineering prowess of the Japanese aircraft industry at the time, albeit with certain trade-offs. Today, a few surviving examples of the Ki-43 Hayabusa can be found in museums and private collections, serving as a testament to its role in World War II. The aircraft's legacy lives on as a reminder of the intense aerial battles that took place in the Pacific theater and the bravery of the pilots who flew them. The Nakajima Ki-43 Hayabusa, despite its initial success and widespread use during the early years of World War II, eventually faced numerous challenges as the conflict progressed. The advancing Allied forces, coupled with advancements in enemy aircraft and tactics, rendered the Ki-43 less effective in combat. The limitations of the Ki-43 became increasingly apparent, including its light armament, lack of protective armor, and vulnerability to enemy fire. The aircraft struggled to keep pace with the rapidly evolving nature of aerial warfare. As the war reached its final stages, the Ki-43 found itself outclassed by more advanced and heavily armed Allied fighters. Production of the Ki-43 ceased in 1945, and the aircraft gradually faded from the frontline service of the Imperial Japanese Army Air Service. The introduction of newer and more capable aircraft, such as the Kawasaki Ki-61 and the Nakajima Ki-84, further diminished the role of the Ki-43 in combat operations. However, despite its eventual decline, the Nakajima Ki-43 Hayabusa holds a significant place in the history of Japanese military aviation. Its agility, maneuverability, and early successes in the Pacific theater earned the respect of both friend and foe. The Ki-43 showcased the ingenuity and engineering prowess of the Japanese aircraft industry during that era. Today, a few surviving examples of the Ki-43 Hayabusa can be found in museums and private collections, serving as a reminder of its contribution to World War II. The aircraft stands as a symbol of the intense aerial battles fought in the Pacific and the bravery of the pilots who flew them. In the Annals of Aviation History, the Nakajima Ki-43 Hayabusa remains an important chapter, representing a time when Japan sought to establish air superiority with a lightweight and highly maneuverable fighter aircraft. Despite its ultimate limitations, the Ki-43's legacy endures, reminding us of the complex and evolving nature of warfare and the technological advancements that shape its course.